Hey everybody, it's Father Bill. Uh, I'm in the backyard of the parish house. There's the catio. There is a cherry tree. And right in front of me, I'm gonna have to switch the camera over. Over, I'm over here, it's a little dark, so we can put the sun in our way. There is a pear tree. And down there is a blueberry bush. And then here are some unfortunate I think they're blackberries. It's hard to know because they're dead. That doesn't really help, does it? <laughs> I never said that I was a farmer or a horticulturist or any of that kind of stuff. I'm gonna stick to what I'm good at and that's uh, hopefully being a priest, right? Well, hey, um, I'm here with lots of things going on. This is Thursday, I'm recording this. And just today we had some, uh, some important events happen, but I wanna kind of backtrack and start at the beginning of the week. And I wanna tell you about Maybe my week and how it went. And I hope yours was good. Mine was full of adventure and joy. Uh, I look back and I start with the, the first day of school. The first day of school was Tuesday the 6th. Uh, and on that day, I was able to see the kids for the first time in school. And for the, many of them, that was their first time in school. So I'm a partner in, partner in education with them. But I walked to school. Normally I would have uh, gotten on my scooter and gone to the parish. But today I figured, I don't know what the situation will be like, what the this parking situation will be like, p parking situation, uh, the traffic, and I just didn't want to mess with that. So I walked, which was good. You know, Father Dave used to walk all the time. And that's why he's in such good health, or at least he uh, is slim and trim, able to walk quite well. Uh, very good about that. So I was able to be behind the, in, or inside the, the doors of the school with, Ashley Sheridan, our principal, and uh, Deacon Brett, our deacon, and of course, getting ready. All the teachers were excited. They were uh, ready to receive their kids as they came in. And all the kids were piling up in the front door and their parents were there and uh, some were hesitant. Uh, some of them were like, who in the world am I? That, you know, I was saying hello to them when I, they came in, but at eight o'clock, we opened the doors and they came flooding in, very excited. Uh, everybody was just excited, I think, uh, with a few again, exceptions. And uh, that was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to be able to do that. And since then, I've been meeting with the teachers and the staff to uh, be with them for their morning prayer. Try to stop by the office to or the classrooms to say hello and just check in with them. Um, and I hope to be able to do that through the year, uh, continue that, and also maybe go into the classrooms. It'll be easier when it's uh, by... Uh, scheduling but i might just pop in anyway by the way you're gonna probably hear some noise from the there it is some uh wind noise because it's in the afternoon around the five ish five o'clock time and that's when you get uh some wind so that may mess up with our our audio i apologize ahead of time and of course the sun is blaring so that's why i got the sunglasses on anyhow i diverged it was wonderful the students were there uh, excited and I'm gonna just continue to try to learn some names. And it was nice, I think on the second day, that would be Wednesday, I was able to go out and be there when the parents were picking them up and sit with some of the eighth graders and kick around and I just uh, be with them. Again, I mean, what a wonderful thing I get to do this stuff. And of course the teachers get to be with them throughout the day. And, and I'm, I have great hope and expectation that the faith will be uh, given and explained and hopefully inspiring our students to come to know Jesus so they can grow and then as they get older or maybe even as little kids they can they can go in other words go tell their parents go tell their friends uh, and recognize that Christ is Christ is life and Christ is joy and we've come to meet him at Holy Trinity Catholic School um, but anyhow so that's uh, stuff that I have hopes for I didn't have the right key to get in the door. There's a special key. It took me until Thursday to get the right key to even walk into the school without having a knock or a ring doorbell. Yeah, I'm the pastor, right? I had the keys. I just couldn't find them. Uh, they're on a pile of a bunch of other keys that I had. You know, when I first got here, I was a little dazed. I got a handful of keys, just a handful of keys, and that's kind of tough. What do? I, so I put only one on my keychain, just the one to the parish office in the church, so I could just take care of the little that I needed to do at that point. So that was the first couple of days. Uh, it was wonderful. Now, what's happened since, as you probably already know, and I'm sure it's all over the news, this just broke today, and that's with the death of Queen Elizabeth, uh, the monarch of, of England, of Great Britain. We, as uh, Catholic Christians, then join with them in sorrow for their 
the loss of their monarch. Um, I know Bishop Peter posted something on his Facebook page and I reposted it online that she was a class act all the way to the end. And in fact, their last public statements were something in the fact that, you know, her, her faith in Christ is what uh, drove or guided all of her decisions uh, as best as she could. Um, nobody's perfect, I'm not perfect, but that's, that's our goal is let Christ be the measure by which we do what we do. So I've asked that our flags be, we only have one flag, but our flag be put to half-mast. That's the case for all government buildings, and I think we should do that. You know, at the school, we should also imbue a sense of patriotism with our kids and also recognize the, uh, the, the international community and, and mourn with other people who mourn, as well, as well as celebrate with people who celebrate when those things happen that are uh, of uh, importance to celebrate. So we'll be adding her to our Prayers of the Faithful this weekend. Also, I've been um, preparing for a homily. And in that homily, uh, I will hopefully be able to impart some, some wisdom and hopefully inspiration about mercy. About mercy. I won't get too much into that at this point. It's still in, in process. I got to spend some time today kind of putting some uh, meat into that and some final touches so that I can be ready for, for Saturday and Sunday. Um, but that's, that's something I'd ask for your prayers, that you can help me with that. As we come into the weekend, then there's two more things. One is the memorial of the tragedy of 9-11, of the terrorist attacks that happened in New York, Washington, D.C., Washington, D.C., Shanksville, Pennsylvania, uh, of all those people that passed away. And that will be also in our prayers this weekend, our prayers of the faithful, remembering them, and ask that you, you know, do something to memorialize that event. We, and one of those important things as Christians we should do is pray for the conversion of the hearts of people who desire to do violence. Um, the conversion of hearts for people to change their ways from destruction, terrorism, and harm of others so that they and more people can have life and live life more abundantly and exercise our faith in that regard. So that's uh, something that I hope that we can do, a new request that I could ask of you. Uh, but lastly is the parish picnic. And that's why I'm wearing my, uh, shall we say, Hawaiian-like shirt. <laughs> it's the only one I got. So it's in good condition, it doesn't come out much. And uh, for our luau, our parish picnic, the luau uh, theme is afoot. And I hope that you can dress up and enjoy, uh, maybe dress up in some kind of Polynesian or Hawaiian uh, garb uh, that's fun and festive. I will be there after Mass. Just be mindful. I have to change and get to the party. It'll be inside and outside. We'll be using the cafeteria and the covered area outside the cafeteria. So we'll have lots of opportunities for different locations. Uh, there'll be hot dogs and I think hamburgers also served with the basics for that. And if you want to bring some food as a potluck, you can do that. I would, I would just ask that you be very mindful as you prepare the food so that nobody gets sick. We don't want food poisoning or anything like that. That would be important. There's the wind again. It's going. And uh, with that, uh, just enjoy yourself. This is an important time for us to come together as a community. And we haven't done this for a while. COVID-19 has really shut down a lot of stuff. And I'd ask that, you know, we uh, make the effort to get to know each other. There's been several years now. And we have new folks in our community. And that includes me. But let's do something constructive that helps, uh, you know, grow our bond, grow our, you know, our strength. And that would be, here's the thought, is to reach out to somebody you know and make sure that you you greet them. And of course, this is stuff we would normally do. But then reach out to two other people that you don't know. Two other people that maybe you've wanted to get to know. Uh, maybe it's somebody that looks like they haven't anybody to sit with or talk to. And how about you plop yourself down and sit with them or talk to them and engage them in a conversation. You never know, at the end of this day, you may have found your best new friend, or your, new, your, your newest best friend, I should say, or, or a friend that will be amongst many friends. But see, this is, we gotta be people that reach out to each other. I know we do. Uh, it reminds me of the Second Vatican Council, and why did I say that? Because one of the themes the bishops discerned from the Second Vatican Council when they met in a synod in 1985, I think it's 1985 or 83, that the theme that came out of the council was one of communio or a communion, that we are to call them to build our communion with each other, to grow together 
in our relationships with each other, in our faith, and in our prayers for each other, and to build each other up and encourage each other, because um, we need to be strong when we are together. And that way we'll be able to help show our unity, and then people will know that, and come to see the love of God and the love that we give for each other. Um, you know that song, we'll, they'll know us, uh, that we are Christians by our love. Well, we are Christians at this picnic. Let's let's start reaching out. And this I'd call like the, the low-hanging fruit, like the uh, blueberry bush over there. It's nearly on the ground. This should be simple to then reach out to people that are already at our church at this parish picnic and make sure that we've reached out to people and said hello and hope they're doing well, entertain the conversation with them and uh, and get to know them. So that's, that's this week. That's kind of looking into the weekend. And I hope I can see you at uh, Mass this weekend. Again, I uh, pray that I'll be able to offer a homily that's going to be helpful to opening people's hearts, mine included. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you then. God bless you. Bye-bye.